and welcome back to the channel guys tool reviews of tools I use uh, today I'm going to be going over some plumbing tools that I carry uh, I'm by no means a professional plumber I, I just slowly built up my skills over the years and, uh, and the more plumbing you do the more you have to buy tools to uh, be able to carry out the task uh, so let's get to it my uh, plumbing toolbox it's a Stanley Fat Max uh, I've got three of these uh, you might see them in other videos. It's a good toolbox, uh, but if anyone's got any suggestions, I'll, I'd love to hear um, of something a bit better. I don't find this to be particularly easy to organise uh, for all the things I carry. Maybe I carry too much, who knows. But anyway, clips, open it up. One thing I do like about this box, it's got a nice water seal on the inside uh, for plumbing. You can just flip down the lid if uh, something goes wrong. Okay, so... This is all the stuff I carry. Like I said, it's uh, it's pretty messy, uh, but uh, but the things I carry have uh, earned their place there, and uh, and I wouldn't be without them. So pipe slices. I only really work on twenty two mil and fifteen mil, um, so uh, that's pretty much all I need. Those pipe slices there, uh, made by Copex. Pretty good quality. I'm not sure if they're around anymore. I think Rothenberger might have, might be the ones that make these now, but they're really good. Got Stabler tape measure. Uh, this has served me pretty well so far. Uh, it doesn't it feels nice and smooth? Doesn't seem to break. Uh, we've got some PTFE tape. Really useful on threads. Carry loads of that. And we've got some really nice pump pliers. Uh, really uh, well worth a spend these were so these are made by Nipex or Knipex however they pronounce it and uh, they're just really well made good steel uh, really sharp teeth on them they just don't seem to wear out they really bite into whatever you're tightening up uh, these are your standard size I'd say 250 you're going to use the most but I'm finding myself using these an awful lot uh, there was a bit of an impulse buy but I'm really glad I did buy them uh, they're the 150 uh, version they're so small you see them in my hand they just fit in really tight spaces and uh, yeah they get you out of trouble a lot and in plumbing i find that that's what it's all about i'm usually uh, battling against uh, different difficulties and yeah to have to have options is, is really good keep set combination pliers these are great because you can cut wire you can grip things you can twist things you can retrieve things with them and uh, these are the 180 CKs I mentioned them in my other videos I'm a real fan of CK pliers they're really well made for the money they're about as close to Nipex as I can find but they're about half the price they're really nice got quite a few of them pickup tool so useful uh, in a plumbing toolbox uh, Plumbing and mechanicing, uh, I find uh, I find this to be the most useful thing to carry. Uh, you drop a, a small part or a screw or a bolt or something like that, and it can be really hard to get. But if you've got one of these strong magnets, uh, I can lift up lift up some pretty heavy items with this one. And it's only cheap; doesn't cost hardly anything. Even on the tip of the spanner, it's holding up. It's holding up an eight-inch spanner right there with no difficulty whatsoever. Uh, so I really rate these. Just pick up a cheap one, only a couple of pounds, and they fit in your toolbox nice and easy. They might just save you bacon. Let's not forget to talk about the Barco Spanner. Plumber's favourite, uh, for good reason. Really well made, uh, nicely machined, uh, good steel. Uh, last a lifetime, pretty much. They're really, really good. Love these spanners. Uh, as much as I use this one a lot, can't fault the, the smaller one. I use this one even more. Uh, the six inch uh, Barco, the smaller one, is uh, going to get you into really tight spots. It's brilliant. Really nice to use. Really nice in the hand. Comfortable rubber grip. Strong rubber grip that's not going to rip or break. Uh, I can't rate these enough. But I've still got smaller spanners that I use. I use this one. This actually came from my dad. Uh, he's, uh, I've got a feeling he's modified an old spanner. If you look at that, I think he's cut it with a hacksaw and filed it off. 
and uh, you're going to find yourself using things like this a lot you look at the size of that compared to even the six inch uh, there's no comparison it's so much smaller like the length but also if you look at the the jaws on it it's just going to fit in spaces that the big uh, that the six inch barco just won't fit and it's great it'll deal with most taps and things um really tight under under sinks and stuff this is just great so I, I keep that as an option i find myself using this a lot though old school stanley knife still great uh nice retractable one i'm not doing any really heavy duty cutting tasks so this is where i use a retractable as opposed to a fixed blade and um, this is just yeah just does the job opening packaging uh cutting pipe lagging anything like that this will do it good tool screwdrivers carry a real selection uh, more than any other toolbox because i just find that the skinny little uh, blades of a proper screwdriver just fit nicely uh, into tight spaces uh, i carry stubbies you're always going to need stubbies um, again just tight spaces that we're dealing with uh, these are these are ideal slide and phillips uh, carry little electricians uh, one let's pop it open uh, and you see there's nothing worse than having all these screwdrivers and then not having a small one just for tiny uh, tiny little items you're going to want to have one of these and these are just so cheap you, you might as well have one in your toolbox carry, carry a couple of other small screwdrivers a little bit of redundancy there but that's okay uh, slotted little 15 mil uh, cleaner for the inside of uh, joints works really well I wouldn't say this is the best one uh, I believe it's just a tiny bit smaller than it should be but I can just about get it to work this one this is why it sits in this box I have a separate box that uh, all my pipe work is done with um, but, uh, but yeah it's good for here Getting into uh, access panels and things like that. Got all the different options. Get into gas boxes, anything. I don't do gas work, but it's uh, it's just a good option to have. Might need to get into the utilities. And I've got some end stops. Good thing about these is that these can come off. You can just use them temporarily, and they work really, really well. Uh, really reassuring. Got a lot of trust in these. Um, but they're yeah very good these ones i think they're made by a company called speed fit this one can't remember who makes these uh, but once you put one of these on this is permanent this anything that i fit i try and keep the little tools and bits and pieces got a little grease or something there i've got this key i think this might have been from a tap uh, for putting like the aerator on the on the end uh, but kept it you never know when you're going to need these things uh, as for toilet seats uh, sometimes this might just be the best tool for the job it's just small fits right around the back there and you just tighten up with your fingers uh, ideal to have Uh, keep a little it's an old school film case and I'll just keep that that's just got little o-rings and bits and pieces uh, sorry olives uh, I mean uh, little bits and pieces like that they just sit there just in case uh, keep radiator keys I'll just keep a bunch of them because you're gonna lose them they're only small so just keep them rattling around in there and an allen key can't remember what this is for but that lives in there if it's in there, it's because it's got a purpose. I just can't remember what that purpose was. <laughs> uh, this is for blanking off radiators and things. Uh, I need to take a radiator off the wall. Uh, just a blank off. I keep these. I need to stock up on these. I've uh, seems to have lost a few on the way, but worth having a bunch of those. Keep a little spanner. Draining radiators. The uh, the eight mil seems to fit nicely and uh yeah it's just a good little spanner to have i like having this spanner because it saves me from leaving like a nice barco downstairs when i'm draining off i can just use leave this uh next to the radiator and uh, uh 
yeah, I can just come back to that and I don't have to leave any other tools behind. Little reseater thing there. Yeah. And 22 mil stopper. I've got some leak sealer just left over, but just a useful thing to keep in a box. Phillips screwdriver there. Always keep hacksaw blade in a toolbox like this, uh, where, I, where I might be using a hacksaw. I don't keep the hacksaw in this box uh, because I find it, it's quite a big tool to carry and, uh, and I'm not using it all the time. Uh, but when I do have it, it's nice just to be able to replace a blade if I have to. Sharper the blade, the uh, easier it is to work with. Keep a little set of uh, Copex pipe slice blades. Same again, sharper something is, the easier it is to work with. Got a little confined space uh, spanner. I can just get around corners and things with this. Uh, where there's where there's not much space to work and you need to loosen or tighten a screw, uh, this is pretty good. It's got a Phillips on one end. It's got slotted on the other. I find myself using these a lot more than I would like. We go a little small spanner here, nine mil. Sharpie markers. Always going to use these. Sharpie markers and pencils. You always keep a nice little selection of them. You're going to lose them anyway. Keep a little inspection mirror. This is infinitely useful. Um, checking out uh, bits that you can't get your head around to see. Looking for leaks. Uh, checking the backs of pipes uh, to make sure I've soldered them right. Um, it's nice to get around the back and check I've got a nice even solder on them. And yeah, really useful, really cheap. No reason not to have one. A screwdriver. So many of them. Cable tire. Ah, this thing here. Four in hand. This is called a four in hand file. Uh, really, really useful. It's a good handy file to have. It's got flat, it's got round on that side, and then it's got a rasp. Uh, flat and round rasp as well. It's so small fits really comfortable I'm not going to do a whole load of filing with this, but it's just good for just taking off nicks and burrs and things uh, You don't need to have a comfortable handle or anything like that. It just just Intermittent work. This is brilliant This is a sort of cheetah bar use this on a tap wrench so it just goes through there and you can just turn to tighten up uh, taps and uh, this is for large uh, bath taps and things and um, just get that leverage on it. Uh, this is a really nifty way that I store uh, my uh, monoblock um, spanners. So you just pull, if I pull these out, there you go. See I just put a big elastic band around it. Um, and if it's, it's just a real luck of the draw really it just fits perfectly in there and it slots and the elastic band just gives it a little bit of resistance makes it nice and tight top tip for uh, keeping your toolbox uh, space free is to have that so yeah got options for everything so these monoblock spanners combined with this really good for getting under around the back of uh, basins and, and things Let's have a look Kitchen tap, shall I say. Yeah, got a good selection there. You've got a little cheetah bar thing in there as well. Uh, you can't be without them. Uh, the good thing about these is you can put one on top of the other and extend it. And you can make a length about sort of, there you go. If you can see my hands, about that long. Uh, which really just keeps your hands and everything out of the way. Makes life really, really easy. But yeah, they just store nicely in there, out of the way. I keep a brush. Uh, this is a fencing brush, uh, just an old one, and I just use it for dusting down uh, the job before I start. Save contaminating the area, uh, and I can see what I'm working with a lot of the time. It's just really handy to have a brush in your toolbox just to clean the area. Plastic pipe cutter. This one's made by CK. It's the only one I've ever owned, so I haven't really got anything else to compare it to, but. This is really good, the blade's super sharp on it, and it just 
goes through pipe like a knife through butter. Really good. Uh, this little gadget here, I bought this based on an advert, uh, which uh, was just, I think it was on YouTube or something. Um, it just came up and uh, it's been so invaluable. Uh, it comes under the category of impulse buy. Just You can just slide it up, it's a uh, tap flexi hose. And it just, uh, let me get this out first. And it just slides up there, just tightens, as you can see there. It doesn't need a whole lot of space. The handle is really grippy so that you can put quite a bit of uh, torque on it. Um, brilliant. For the price I paid, I, this isn't the branded, I think, Rigid or someone do a, a version of this, maybe Rothenberger, and you'll pay quite a bit more. This is just the cheap Chinese model. Uh, from Amazon or eBay or something and uh, and it, it works just as you'd expect it's got lots of diff different options for different fittings and things I haven't used all of them yet um, but the times I have used it it's usually been to get me out of trouble and uh, that's what it's about isn't it it's being able to do the job and get home so this is great lots of options you just flip these things out yeah brilliant brilliant tool I don't necessarily want to have it in here because it's quite bulky, but it just saves me a walk to the van when I do use it. It's great. Got a Barco level. Uh, no, no preference to this level. I've got a whole bunch of levels. This one just seems to fit really nicely in the in my plumbing toolbox, just the length of it. Uh, but I do use a whole load of other levels. Carry a hammer. This is probably a little bit big for uh, a plumbing toolbox, but it's just a, an anti-vibe Stanley hammer. You can hit things. Oh, I'll probably get a smaller one for this toolbox one day. Some long screwdrivers. Long screwdrivers are really useful for getting in tight spaces where you just can't quite get your hand in there, and but you can get a little skinny piece of metal in there. Really nice to work with. Really nice to work upwards with. Just useful. I think these were by uh, Rothenberger. They've got the kind of typical cheap handle you see on cheap screwdrivers, but the tips are actually really well made. Uh, they seem to be lasting and holding out really well. So uh, yeah, get a set of those. I think they're about 300 mils usually. I think Wera do a really nice uh, set of these, but well recommended. Keep a bunch more screwdrivers in the bottom here. I like having options. And uh, but these two here, we don't you don't tend to use flatheads for much anymore. But they're just kind of beta screwdrivers, pry bars, getting into access panels and things like that. Then then a good strong screwdriver like this. Uh, these acetate handle ones that you're seeing are made by King Chrome. I really really rate them. They've got the demolition cap on the back of it that you can give them a good hard whack with a hammer if you needed to. Uh, but they're just good sturdy screwdrivers. Um, yeah, I really rate them. Uh, Stanley screwdriver, Phillips. Pump pliers. Uh, these are made by Channel Lock. I've seen uh, different reviews. Some people really rate these, some people don't. I love these uh, particular pliers. Uh, I've got the, uh, the old traditional style uh, ones of these as well, but I really just like the angle of these. When combined with my Cobras, you can see here you see the angle is just slightly different and that just might be all that it needs to get you into uh, a fitting that's difficult to access but the two of these combined when you're working together uh, they're just great really nice to use good sharp teeth on them can't fault them okay so we've got uh, vice grips mole grips uh, locking pliers whatever you call them uh, I've got a couple. I use these when uh, negotiations have failed, shall we say. When, th when things are going rough and you're just really struggling uh, to uncouple something or whatever, then these might just be the thing uh, that you, you can use just to grip hold of stuff. Really, really useful. I don't use them quite as much as I should, but when I do use them, it's because it's I'm having a hard time or something. Uh, radiator spanners, typical kind of old school radiator spanner, uh, but this is generally what you're going to use. Nice ratchet in one. Uh, this 
you just buy this coupling by itself. You see that? There you go. And I, it's designed for a half inch fitment there to go into a half inch ratchet. I don't want to carry a big half inch ratchet in this toolbox. It's uh, the toolbox is heavy enough, so I carry a three eight ratchet from Craftsman. You're not putting massive amounts of torque on it, so a three eight is just fine. And then I just got a little tiny adapter. It just goes on it and that just lives on there if i have to i can use it with sockets obviously but most of the time it just lives on there and uh yeah makes uh radiators really really quick ratchet screwdriver got quite a few of these i really like stanley's um this older model is uh, really really good for the price Got a tap spanner. Sometimes this is all you can get up there and you can just tighten and loosen uh, tap nuts just from the bottom. Really useful, this just slides out of the way. This goes up and down, it's pretty stiff so I'm not gonna try and do it right now but it's, uh, you get the point. It's, uh, you can really reach hard to access areas with this. Uh, top tip with this thing, keep this thing oiled um, in the little groove. Once this starts to dry out a little bit, it just doesn't work anywhere near as well as it should. The more oiled it is, the more spring back you get and uh, it works really well. A lot of complaints people have with these is just because they're just not not keeping them maintained well enough, especially when they're sat in the bottom of a box gathering dirt and things. Just maintain your tools. Go ahead, another set of pump pliers. These are the big ones. Uh, good for plastic fittings and bits and pieces. If you go gentle with them, um, they're just uh, yeah. When you need them, you really need them. These ones are made by CK. I really love uh, the way that the uh, see this mechanism here on some of these uh, pump pliers that I've had in the past. Even the ones by Rothenberger, they can be a little bit loose and sloppy. So I don't really like them. They get caught if you just tighten them up you see that it just ends up getting caught uh, but with these ones these are really nice machined uh, really tight tolerances um, so they just seem to work really well I'm afraid I don't think they make these anymore these this particular model um, but I'm really happy with this probably just pick up a, another set of Cobras if you're after the bigger model like this one uh, this is the, the 300 size Uh, this here, this is, uh, if you're working on soil pipes and things like this, I found this just a really easy way of marking it so you get a nice round uh, cut. Uh, this just, I just cut this off and just put a slice down uh, here and then I just snap it over the pipe and I can just draw around with a sharpie marker and I know exactly where I'm cutting and it's, pre it's pretty damn straight. Works really well. Uh, for cleaning pipes uh, for soldering and if you're cleaning uh, the fittings as well then you can go for the 15 mil 22 mil there yeah it just works really good uh, cheap and very very cheap and acceptable little hacksaw uh, I tend to use my multi tool more than anything now which is why I keep a nice little compact hacksaw uh, junior hacksaw uh, but this gets in a little tight spaces sometimes that the multi-tool just might not get into. Uh, but I much prefer to use a power tool than this. It's just so much quicker. I keep a little set of blades in here somewhere for that as well. Uh, I've got a uh, wire brush. This one's made by Draper. Uh, it's called a 4861. Uh, wire brush is a wire brush really, but this one just is really comfortable, fits in the hand and it's uh, reasonably compact so it doesn't take loads of space up in my toolbox. Fine with plumbing, uh, you, you need really accurate cuts. Uh, as, as, as good as a tape measure is, I just find sometimes the most accurate way of getting a measurement is just going off a little uh, steel ruler just for small cuts and things. Um, yeah, I tend to take my time with stuff like that. But yeah, worth having that in there. Again, takes no space at all. I keep a little old school pipe spring bender. My pipe bending isn't fantastic and sometimes I just want to redi uh, redirect a pipe or something. And this just works out really well. Uh, it's good to have in here just for 
the odd occasion where you, where you just don't need to do too much uh, to a pipe but you just want to get a certain shape on it yeah well worth having again doesn't take up much room carry a tap reseater it's got the different fittings and things on yeah uh, I think this one's made by Monument. It's only the cheaper one that they do, but I don't use it a whole lot, so I'm glad I didn't spend too much on that. Uh, this this spanner here, this was a kind of impulse buy as well, but I, I, I think it was a, a very necessary one for the job uh, that I was doing at the time. I was really struggling behind a basin and to, to uh, tighten up the waist. And that's exactly what this thing is for. Uh, it, you can put put a really good uh, bit of tension on this uh, in really tight spots that you just can't quite fit another tool, such as say that. Uh, you just reach this around the back, and it just gave that little tighten up that I needed because I just couldn't get it to seal. And uh, and it's lived in my box ever since. It's it's a brilliant tool. It's actually really quite lightweight. It looks all heavy duty and everything, but it's just made out of some cheap aluminium. Uh, because it's not designed for metal fittings, it's just designed for plastic ones. I spent about five pounds on this, and uh, yeah, for what it's done, it's, it was well worth it. Little small spanner. I've seen other plumbing channels uh, talking about these spanners uh, made by Amtec. Uh, they're absolutely brilliant. I got this recommendation off an uh, old gentleman on here called uh, Derriton88, I believe he is. Check him out on YouTube. And uh, I'm so glad I followed his advice on this. This is a brilliant little spanner. Uh, it just gets in everywhere that you need a small spanner to get into. You can even turn it into a, a pipe wrench by uh, turning this little bit upside down. Um, what a great little spanner this is and it was so cheap it just goes to show you don't have to spend a lot of money on tools to get good tools there's some good things out there if you just know what you're looking for um, but yeah this is about five pounds you can't beat it for the price this will be so useful carry some more hacksaw blades so, little piece of copper pipe there just I don't know, if you're just cutting a little piece off it it's just left over from something. Go. Keep this in here just because it just gives me a whole lot of options. It opens out really nice and wide. And it's also got uh, the reamer uh, on here. It's really tempting sometimes to stick your finger in a pipe. Whatever you do, don't do it. Um, but you can just ream out a pipe like that. And just get that little burr off of the inside. So it just lives in here. I don't use this particularly much, so I use the pipe slices more. So. Uh, pit keys or uh, manhole keys or whatever you want to use them for, whether they're uh, you might need them to get to a stopcock outside or something like that, or um, or for clearing out um, blocked uh, blocked uh, sewage pipes or something like that. But I, I keep a set of these in here. There's all sorts of different shapes that you might need, but this seems to fit most of them. And it saves me busting up screwdrivers and things like that, trying to open them up. So, well worth keeping. These little things here, uh, really, really cheap from uh, eBay, probably Wish or something like that. They're really, really cheap, but they're handy to have for unclogging uh, hairs and things out of sinks. You can pull up all sorts of rubbish or down pipes or anything. Really flexible really really cheap and they just fit in the bottom of these toolbox really easy uh, they can snag up um, so they can be a bit of a pain to get out sometimes but uh, they work as advertised they catch every little bit of hair they're really uh, useful to have uh, just abrasive cleaning just for cleaning up pipes any copper that you're working with you're going to want to Get it nice and clean before soldering if you want the solder to take well. And you see, you can just put a nice little shine on that copper pipe. Uh, really useful to have. You just buy them in these kind of like match cases. They come with loads of them. Uh, I tend to keep the majority of these just in my uh, pipe bag that I have, which I'll show some other time. Uh, this spanner is relatively new. I believe it was uh, sold by NERAD uh, Plumbing Tools. I'm thinking of cutting this one down as well, um, but it's really just useful to have to be able to put a lot of torque on uh, a coupling if I have to. 
um, and I know exactly what sizes it's going to fit. It's going to fit the pipes that I'm going to be uh, working with. Uh, so it's just an option that I have in there. A little bit of redundancy, but it works quite nicely. Yeah, I've got another one of those drain cleaners. Allen keys, you're always going to be using Allen keys. Uh, I like the ones that actually come out rather than the, the folding ones uh, for plumbing jobs. It gives you a few more options because you can just get the smaller size in there if you have to. Uh, these are made by Tecton. Uh, been really, really quite good. I've got uh, Bondus Allen keys as well, and I say these compare pretty well to them. So uh, these are, uh, yeah, well recommended. It's got just about every size you could you could want up to ten millimeters. So uh, yeah, pretty good. This, uh, oh, well, so for showers, um, this will just measure your centers, uh, like hundred and fifty centers, and tell you where to put the screws and things. And I'll just keep that in there. Useful. A spare hacksaw blades uh, for the little junior hacksaw I have. Sharp tool is an easy tool. There you go, a bit more PTFE. Uh, this light here, this is a relatively new purchase and I absolutely love this thing. I wish I'd had it years ago. Uh, it's called a uni light and uh, it's, uh, it gives you lots of options as to how you can use it. But if you're working under something like a sink or a compact area, uh, this is about the best I've come across for, for lighting the scene up. You can, you've can you got the big inspection style light there and you've got the torch there if you need it. This is what I mainly use it for. It's really, really bright. It's got a hook that comes out. If you wanted to hang it on something, you can hang it like this. You can even just use it as a torch like that or even like that if you wanted to. Uh, it's got magnets so that you can bolt it, uh, sorry, stick it to something, um, something magnetic. It's uh, it's just really, really good. It's so bright um, and you can just cycle between the uh, the options of torch and inspection light. But yeah, uni light, I'll be buying a few more of these hopefully. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, this thing here, so I keep, ah, for, for the Unilite, I keep my charger in here. You don't know how long you're going to be working on something. You don't want it running out on you halfway through. So I keep the charger in with it, with just a little plug adapter that didn't come with it. But yeah, keep the two together. It's always easy. Uh, keep some electrical tape. Uh, I tend to mark up pipes with this. Just if I would, I don't want to lose track of which pipe is which, uh, so I just mark up uh, the hot and cold, uh, and uh, yeah, it seems to work well. This is amalgamating tape. If you want to fix uh, a leak temporarily, then this is good stuff. It kind of works a little bit like uh, tennis racket handle tape. Just put this round and overlap it a few times, and uh, and it will stop a leak in a pipe uh, really well. And give you time to give you time to buy what you need to buy or whatever, but good for a quick emergency. Uh, well worth having in there for any homeowner or um, or uh, tradesman alike. Barco socket set, the little small quarter inch one. I would not be without this in this toolbox. I've used it so much. Uh, I used to carry it outside of it, and then I was using it so much with plumbing bits and pieces that I decided just to leave it in there, even though it's got a little bit of weight to it. And this is the set. So it goes all the way up to 13 millimeters uh, from 4 millimeters, and you've got some Torx bits, and you've got a couple of Allen, common Allen sets, and you've got uh, Phillips sizes in there. Handle, you've got an extension bar. If you're dealing with like small appliances or anything like that, then this is just uh, worth its weight in gold. Uh, yeah, as I say, I couldn't be without it now. So useful. I've got a few of those, they're great. Always keep a little bit of uh, grease dealing with o rings and things like that, and uh, any rubber fittings, then uh, silicon grease is great to have on hand uh, this is a box I made up a little while back I got fed up of uh, not having the uh, washers and bits and pieces that I needed to hand so I sort of really stocked this thing out 
Uh, I, I gathered up all the washers out of my separate kits and I just combined them a little bit to make a proper decent kit that sits in my toolbox. The box is by a company called Wham. I don't know if you can just yeah just catch the light with that. Um, and it's just a six compartment box and it carries pretty much everything you're going to need for little repairs and stuff. I don't use this very often so when I do use it I don't want to be walking around finding the right part. I just want to have it to hand. So I've got lots of little kind of tap spares and bits and pieces in there. And I've got lots of uh, washers in there. Lots of uh, plastic washers. Uh, nylon washers in there of different sizes, just about every size o-ring you can think of, every size nylon o-ring and uh, loads of different type of your typical tap washers. Obviously I can't cater to every tap in here, it'll cost a fortune to stock it out but for the uh, for the majority of taps that will that'll help me out. Uh, really just useful to have in a toolbox like this and just anything that saves me a walk to the van um, or a walk to the workshop or the, or the shop itself then it's got to be worth having really recommend that now this it sits in the bottom of my toolbox it's just a way of organizing some of the smaller stuff and just keeping it uh, separated uh, but it's actually got a, a, a good reason i keep it in here if i ever need uh, a pot that i haven't thought about at the time and it just I just need to catch some drips or something then I can just quickly pour things out and I've got a pot to hand straight away that I can throw under a sink a radiator or uh, or anything uh, that's dripping I've always got something that I can catch it with uh, so that I'm not scrambling around at the last minute uh, it's just an old baking tin and uh, it just sits in there really well I had to bend down the, the lids a little bit to the handles a bit to get it in there but sits really well in there and just keeps my tools all a little bit more organized uh, i keep a little bit of plumber's mate i've never even opened this uh, I've, I've got a much bigger tub that i'd normally work out of uh, but i like to keep it in there just as an emergency uh, little, yeah just in case and that is everything guys that is all the tools in my plumbing toolbox there's not many things that I need that I don't carry uh, amongst this. It's a pretty full box of tools, as you can see. Uh, I carry much uh, bigger things like drain uh, cleaners and um, yeah, yeah, drain brushes and bits and pieces like that, plungers and all the rest of it that you're going to need. Uh, but uh, for handling most jobs around the house, you can't beat all of that lot there. So if you've got any suggestions for the video, any more stuff that I could carry in the box, anything that I should really just take out that, if that, uh, that doesn't need to be there, then please uh, comment below. Uh, always welcome positive discussion uh, from people and uh, let me know uh, what you carry in yours. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.